Steve Forbes joins us. All right, Steve, we are in an inflationary spiral. What should Biden do? Well, there are a lot of basic things he should do, starting by take, giving a green light for U.S. oil and uh, gas production. Instead of this crazy war they're waging, we can increase production in the next few months by one and a half million barrels a day. And uh, that should be done. Uh, the Federal Reserve should uh, stop uh, their dithering about their balance sheet and start uh, reining in the trillions of dollars that it excessively created. That's going to not only mean inflation in this year, but also in 2023. So those are basic steps. The Biden administration stopped the spending, uh, stopped the crazy regulations, which is hurting businesses in this country, making the supply chain crisis even worse. Basic steps. And I think the pressure of events, Stuart, is going to bring about a profound change on their energy policies, not because they suddenly are going to abandon the Green New Deal, but suddenly November is going to loom. And a lot of Democrats yeah. are going to say, I like my job. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> I want you to listen to this warning uh, about small businesses from the Chicago Fed president. Roll tape, please. Wages have been going up. Business profits have been quite high and successful industries. I think the um, in-person service sector has been challenged throughout COVID and increasing prices are, are really difficult for, for businesses, uh, especially if you can't pass those price increases along. If you yeah, I, I think that man is talking about small business there. It seems to me that small business in this country right now, Steve, is in real trouble. It is in real trouble because they don't have the resources to cope with all the regulations yeah. and challenges they face. And that's why banks should start making uh, prudent loans. Uh, biz, a lot of these businesses are do, will do perfectly fine in a normal economy uh, to get them through. Fortunately, banks are brimming with reserves and are going to be looking for opportunities. So I think the banks can come to the rescue there. But again, it gets to government, stop piling on these crazy regulations and barriers that prevent people from doing business and solving uh, supply chain problems. Is a recession in your economic forecast for the next, say, year or 18 months? The way these people are going, we are going to have a real slowdown yeah. and uh, may have an official recession, you know, two quarters in a row of negative growth. And again, that was caused by government. And that's why after November, I think you're going to see profound changes in economic policy just by the sheer pressure of events. But it really is just like the late 1970s, isn't it? I mean, you and I both remember Thanks. that time. High inflation, rising interest rates, a foreign problem. It was Iran in those days. It's Russia today. It's just a carbon copy of 1970s. I wonder if we're going in the same direction. Because the 1970s gave us Ronald Reagan in 1980. That's right. And we should remember, before 1980, in many circles, Ronald Reagan was seen as sort of an extremist, a lightweight. Yeah. And he uh, got elected and rose to the occasion. So, again, I think the American electorate is going to come to the rescue, just as it did in 1980. You hope, and so do I. Thanks very much, <laughs> Steve Forbes. We'll Thank see you, you again soon.